kesie ene besu nyame de waya ma ye ni nyina no ye ni aso na e ya ho wa wa se enso so ma ya kunya se e da ti se enso so ye mra ne na se na fe ye mesom no mi di se ne ne se de enhia ni te ye mfi ha nko no na ya ye enhia ne yakopon hia na wa sha sha ma ye no atraka wona na wo twimu omso ne ye ebe hia ni nyina se e fa ye tresem no na ye hwe kolose fo nwoma no tri miensa ti chemu ba ko na I said then, if then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Amen. Saying in a year, Christopher, yeah, you did say Christo. Well, who know, sorry, near you didn't know, a CP over the Mudian, my knee, and see Christo and Quanso, and sir, as I said, senior man, and found only how be ever from the bones a Christo and Quan, and in that so, I'm just as I said, so I'm a fresh saying in I am running and some. A bright day as a free man about air brain, never the same. Said there now what she be around a ya, 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 no, as a funny man about no, and I did, but what she cast a funny a hold on a swa, a uber who no war, a bro for Cassemu, Mr. So, my firm away tree cassa, and Mr. So, I went to Brofoa, and obey to my teacher, no tea, Brofoa, so obey to me, I pay away in screen. So, the church's announcement will be projected onto the various screens in English. I will run through them in three. Please follow from the screens if you do not understand our language. Much of my in Katayani, Nafi, your mom, Pye. So, Hene, Omadia, ye, ye, ne, na, se, ne, se, ne, ebro, ne, homi, day. Ye, da, wa, se. Se, wa, do, me, bro, so, in, ti, ye, boni, ye, ne, ti, no, wen, try, ya, an, kwenye. Na, se, swa, ma, ya, kwenye, se, ye, mra, jwen, sa, kwenye, mna, fi, ye, me, sum, mo, ne, shira, ye, sa, e, shat, na, wat, fufu, ro, a, se. And they are the one who shall me. So, me, you made the whole doing now, or my is the whole other same. May answer one can and never me day. You feel any moon corner, not could could me be a debay and what do more was swearing. One hour, they want to say that anyway, the sharp as you say, you see, tea tea one, never be said, dear more. Never ensure any be a convention or and ten can you now. Never found corner which you know one now put on your vision or which you mean so it be and come on and I'm tired. So it's me no more at your crystal. Well, no, sorry, I'm my way near empire. We need to say, We use Christo demons, amen. And you see, my son, my agent, I hope a quiet baby, a bat, and there's some new. I'm on the board, and at your day, a bay. Say the agent, I ain't even know now what you mean. If you and there, a cop him, and there now what you know, a year, a mob no now what you are a day, air bomb pie, youth week of prayer, and Timmy Show. Maybe I will be on an hour, but more than so don't hold a bit shit. You made him see a bit shower, had now been a hoa, no about knee in a boom near your soon after in your coupon. If he's a trainer, say, Mumma in your empire, but then Timmy Shum, Mumma in your name, Mum, Nafi, Yen Yenessa, Pepe, Pepe. A soft war poor smith, and now I watch him in a obedient name, Jumedian. I say, I'm no teacher, I age in us, or I say, or do a year, I dare you, and I love is a verb, and no, and there's some teacher, and I watch him in a. A day a youth of prayer and intim show, said the Yakano, who may in a kayo, a china you men on song, copium non crown, and I fee a bernada you men on song, a copium non crown, the inner baby shim, and you merno, a wah no nafe, ya boom, a did you made any camera come to me show, ah, oh, quite you man, I fee, why you want she share, said non song, pepe, pepe, nay, you know, ya bishim, a wah nafe, ya ya, you see a nafe, ya dempire, and so so at was. Who quite that said the Yakano, a jumedian, no, a bayer online, in tea, in your name, Bishim, or name, you better. If you are do moon, Nafi, Yashe, you may dear no, Nafi, if you are so, Yatwaso, you may dear no, Nafi, who made the draw, you may dear no, your son, I did a baby, yea, I had no Timisha, now what you mean, dear, maybe I'll be Cubiano, a ya not why, and she shares it, only a boom, Nafi, yea, did you made dinner, said ye, say, not a fatter. Said ye, now what you mean, me and say, I'll be in your nigh and Cayeno, Ambassador's Club, and nay, a Y Club, no registration, no Egusua, Air Coso, Miss Shaw, so Oha, now we need your home, so Kaku, no, the hour gun, and now you AY, and you Oha, now for so Kahua, Miss Shaw, but my dear, so be who a uncle Dante, you need Hanum, the Babumi, and now Auntie Ajoa, a Fusia, and she shall be or no, but from Nafi was so Abbe Kaku, no, Miss Shaw was a swa. We did a common platform, no, no, I must see you, yes, some cleaning that's a mummy, no, Munina, Montana, Wing Mohona, or Monimo, any and Comoca crap. 
e bi ohun se de yinyina yaboyen kai na watwi ai be ram e global youth day at new conference at the sc ho sorry so so yen she she no egusu a ekosisi en so dane dua e be di juma kwetne pa enu nti mpanyufo en she she omo ye ne se se dane dua e be she t-shirt wa wani e je hu se obe she sa t-shirt ni bi no na di e di juma ni bi no me she obo modin a se obe hu sister ajua for sua e bo no e ye 5 pounds na fe wo che o sika na so so wa ju t-shirt no e dane dua juma di e se no na e di akodi a she urade din eni onyam e bi un mpanyinfo a omo hwe adisua ho nsem e wo asoya pese nyina nya ne tie se eye na wo twa ibisim ne homa da e ban no e firi anwuma no num e kopem no nson no e wo ho mo ho betena se wa wo wo adisua de bi ana wo wo bibi ai fa adisua ho ohia se omo beboa wo na so betena ti ne wum no bra na ne omo embeka se mpo wo wo bibi a wo hia wo adisua na wo hia se wo be church a wo nso so abra Nwa uwo bibi susu a uhiya inkan kase ba du siya mono o susu bihu amo na amo ne o enche enti esia asafu mani na asema ma ya enche na susu se efu enyume no num kopem nonson eh kome de ba ino yani education for ebe siya abo yeho amu hano na fe education na needs biano amo abo na fe amo aso ya sne amayeti mi edu hano a fe home and family life and for eh boye ni na yenka e se epo e da to so eduasa no e be ye love banquet e ma wona e wo ye singles na me so so wani je ho se okojuma die ni bia e bo no e ye 25 pound sha se na fe ye wa ho boa na hu mpanyinfo ajuma die no wo mo e da no no se de be ya obetimi so akodi juma die ni mu chefa e wo ho juma die ne e be ba so wo thorock hotel e ship lane e wo avli Essex na juma die no e be ba so ntimi se mo ma ye nhye ne so e free anwumre no nine e ko pem no ndu e na juma die no e be ba so e 38 apunti wa be ko no na fi wa sha se abo abo wo ho sa pepepe afei ye bo ye nyina nka ye juma die ahodo a e wo asafo no enim ne ye de tie enim e ye 25 e march home day be ni na awotwe no ye be ye awrade adidi e waso dem ha ti me se obu biara o ha na obete unya mu chefa no shaase esiesie hu se 20 feet no ye nyina ba be shiem na ya ye awrade adidi e wa ha no i say company for so so e ka sa for me nyina se epo home day edi kan no e first sabat no and first epo no e mo ye juma die e wa ha no ma musical evangelism no mo ye na atichi asem no ye remember na o ma tun sa afre kwas bi o ba be ka ho any singing band any youth choir any be di juma die ntimi so mo ma ye nyina ye ye nhisha ye mfa en ka ho se e wiya no me nsa e ye first epo no e kwa e di anim ama ye musical evangelism e wo aha mo yin na ye ma wo ba na watun sa afre obi na oni wabom aba beti enwom ni bi afi awo ho se ma na na watwi ye nsa kan ye ene ye ya ne di e to ye nim ya ye bofa e mr joseph agri na watwi mu wante asempa ne ma me afri mu e wo gana e se wa o nim uncle joe na wo so abo made na wa cheche ne we na ma yin na so ye kan no wo empire boom se wo hia se bi awo be fre no na wo hia ne number uhu asafo no twefo a o de number be ma na wo fre no na wo ne abompai na wa cheche ebusua no so we i say yeah mommy elizabeth coffee so so yeah kaya nina say oh china and uh a year no yeah yeah but you a from a year 12 and a year yeah you know and what went to me and could be being to know you know you bet me you will be so able zoom so anti i saw you try for at the zoom details no a better platform to say name you may my in a nation is say oh china a free to all 30 and a year year program no also so i'll be here to be out to be about what time that you know details no so i will hold my i will fly on a search now you bet you may get a better church platform no so now you know you got tie your mind me elizabeth kofi a china of a with jenny papa a crime crime to me and shannon so china and i am my elizabeth kofi nipa pay you know yeah yeah oh when you fear a war a yeah um um tessa root house russia lane e29 b x it's me so so we hear details and so koha who are sorry to phone and so or the bema was at a mechanic and you may or the yeah the better church platform no so now you know yeah shannon to say zoom so why won't me and call no over joining also i'll be called no address no one now i could tie in my me elizabeth kofi in the busy and it's come on come on if you um i saw penny the graph in the busy and i saw penny uh so for um emmanuel asamoah mommy any any area you can answer uh, 23rd 
ena e baso e wa ha ebe ye ufusom no e wa ha na fi ya kwa kusi e wa West Ham Cemetery no 23rd na it means yo se wo ye wo shi shi e na wa chini ma na wa shi nusu na wo de akahu e ye ifi ano panondo e kopi don compare mu ye from 10 to 1:30 no ena ye ye ufusom no e wa ha no na fi e bo e wia no mi e numpe mu a ye de akwa West Ham Cemetery na fi ya kwa kusi na fi e ye no ya ye no 26 e wo ya so dem e fi enu mere no nine kope ma najo no nkono mpem ti misiyo mo mo ma ye nyina ye nhye ne so e dress code no e black and white nti misiyo mo ye sha se nsi si ye ho se e ba beta djuma die no e chi kama kama afi na watwi mya kopon adum so o de afi ne bi aka do fo mfi o ne se wa de sen ye ma me emilia kofo e na ye ma me sintia o se ajima o mo nyina na watwi mya me adum so o mo ad o mo awoda amen Abu Siani na phone na si omu de nyango pon asi se waya de fe fe si amom afe na wachi mu na si ayen saka ini ora ni ora ye Derek eni sinti upuwa jima eni omu bu Siani na si omu de nyango pon asi se wabo omu hoba indi omu akoga na si indi omu abasum jimu ni se wa de saying si na ye ma mi jima ma bodywa enchi onso de nyango pon asi pa se abra okoye ni se ju nyango pon adum so ama bibia akoto ti afe wabo mpa si nyango pon eman nyango ding na fe onye onye full recovery no make e yinehu amen e ma mi jinet nya me be chwe so de nyakopon ase se obo no ban de ne kopie mu o manga ne mu e ma aware nche che okoye ni nyina e ye kama na person se o san ban nya me adom so wa so no current ban so de ne ababedru asumdwe mu amen afi ye ma mi miriam jeu and then the busian so some said the yakopon wa se pa se odom e ko gana na afi ni papa ye ho hihye ni bibia ko kama 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 the yakopon adom so wa san de omo abedru asumdwe mu e bi o mo so mo da safo manyina se eh se ne sita o machi ye mpa ye ne en se me ka she o mo nkran bra no mo ye den no o mo ni aso mo da ye nyina se o mo se se yakopon en sha ye nyina afi women ministry penny for so se o mo da safo manyina ase se na o hwe twa mu ne beta o machi na dwuma de ne ye kama 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 afi o mo se o mo da ma ne nyina ase de obi a de bo aye se o yi bi bo aye ne wa o ba aye beta chi no o mo ni aso o mo se yakopon en sha e ku obi aso e bi o de di twa twa se ya ka ye nyina ho no ene e wi ano fi no na ye ko no e you fi ko pray ano e beto aso nti mi show be bi a be ko bi ano e bo no na ya bo modern se nyina ba betna se na fi ya ye week youth week of prayer no na ya bo mpa ye a che yakopon enim me tsna se no na me ka ye nyina se na wo twi bi a ye bo ye nyina ho nka ye se o wa ma ne bo bi ana se o pese ye announcement bi wo ha but more than I say, church clerk, no, and you are then you may know my name, sir. It's me, I can say the bear, or bet me, I am who she and I have made the drawer, or bet me, I bet the other two as a for many, and Yakopo and Kayaho, no home day, ye free and him corner, ye ain't share only the moon to amen. Mr. Mo and Sana, you bet to urge my genius, you know, you bet you bet my youth choirs and I bet Nancy am I. So the youth choir will process and before we continue with the other program. <laughs> Shepherd, I shall not want. 
Na yesi one same bio. Yeda unyami asi. Epa kwa njia isu amamu ni na yoku do. Yeda cherry amfuasi. Se youth week of prayer ona mne dumso na kwa vetu ya sunjemo. And that has been a pleasure that the youth week of prayer is here again with us. Me pa kwa njia ina me na. Asori peni oti donko ene asori peni Richard Entry ase. We want to also thank Elder Oti Donko and Elder Richard Entry. Mra last week Elder si yako retreat no. Amo che chire ema yen kama 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 kama. When the elders went on retreat, they were in charge and they did a wonderful job. Eda onyame ase bio wa sabati ya wadi afemi yen. And we want to thank God again for such a blessed sabati He's given us today. Na me fa kwa njia swa chia yenu amuswa omoni on hivi on internet so Facebook ne YouTube ne all the social media za hodo ono yet momo ni na so happy sabat. And a warm greeting to all those watching us online, whether it's on social media, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching us from. We want to wish you a happy sabat. Mo juma de kakra me ba bidi no anapai. So we have a brief um, special um, program that we want to do. So as, as according to God's plan, everything he did or is doing is, is good. Even though sin still abounds, we believe that God is still good. So as we are all aware of the unfortunate news that has befallen uh, Mr. Joseph Agri. Um, he lost his mother in Ghana, so we're going to remember him in prayers. And Again, the ABE and PBE teams left um, London this morning for Leeds, where they're going to do a competition there. We're also going to remember them in prayers. Yes. And the main same reno, Mestre, Nayinia Penny, agree. So, aha, 
So we kindly invite Mr. Joseph Agri and the family to, and then all loved ones to come to the front as we celebrate. But we are not going to be able to as there are no landmark birthdays, we will still want to remember all those who are celebrating their birthdays throughout the week and in the coming weeks too. Amen. 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 Because Yes, so born here, I bet that we him. Now it's told of what she had a maye. When you mean she said, I would do a new for a year, you ain't winning now, she had Nina, but when you imagine, Papa. Why, my baby, be around to two years, say yes, Cassem, a bushman, a man's son, a penny in a go, yes, with him. My son, ye, and custom tenant with him, not my mere free wing. Now come on, come on, me, we in Puno, and my own chain, or whoever my own chain, a brain, Nara. If I can ya in so Eddie ye ma or Moka could see a kind and will lease a shower, sir. Yes, so Papa Yesu, what about Moho Bain? This is the third time or Moko. Yes, so or Mokwe no cow home. He himself would make a dress with him. Ma can't see Mokwezi, BBP Arsenal, and you would deal moon, could name no more Sam Ras with him. I'll bomb Moho Bain, the Mosa Bass and Yemwa. I can say, Wunya me, Wuna Waye. I don't know if you are more than you are. You are not a person. 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 You are not Oh, Concono, and Fire Machassia, no one for you as we demo. Now, you will put him demo. Now, your open pa, and your cra, as you went, Munyam, as all about my yamu. And I was saying, I pay so my yes, you are free one over tea, and what you call you with the Monte. Amen. Mama, you entrance. Sir Mama, you see, say your home, not for you entering. So let's prepare our hearts for the divine service. Amen.
Let's bow our heads. Spirit of living God, fall afresh on us. Lord, as we are in your house on this day, we give you praise. And Father, we're praying today that somebody's life will be changed. So bless us, Father. In your name we pray, amen and amen. Morning and happy Sabbath church. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm gonna say it again. Good morning and happy Sabbath church. Good morning. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Welcome to the first day of the London Ghana Youth Week of Prayer. I, I didn't hear an amen. Yeah, amen, not amen. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again and then you say the amen. Is that fair? Today is the first day of the London Ghana Youth Week of Prayer. Amen. amen, amen, amen. I hope you have all had a good week. I want to welcome you all to this, the, our online viewers as well. I haven't forgotten about you. Welcome to the London Ghana Youth Week of Prayer. Um, I want to bring our attention to some visitors that we have here today. There are two names in front of me. And I'm going to read them now. So when we hear their names, can we shout a big London Ghana amen to them? Is that fair? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's amen. After three, I want to hear the big amen. So one, two, three. Amen. Okay, okay. So the first name that we have is Solis Insia. So could you raise your hand or stand up so we can see you to give you that amen? Amen, amen. amen. And yeah, she's upstairs. And Suzette and Sia. And I feel Suzette and so upstairs as well. Amen, amen. amen. Both from USA. So again, thank you for coming and welcome to London, Ghana. Um, as I've got two names here, that doesn't mean that we do not have visitors. So if you are a visitor here for the first time, please raise your hand or stand up so we can give you a big, big amen and the and a church member will greet you wholeheartedly. Okay, so there are no new people, so I'm going to go ahead. I would like to now introduce the platform party for today. The person who is coordinating is none other than the youth leader of London Ghana. Amen. 
And then the only some that you know, I am a youth leader or a sorry. Amen. Ah, come on. You know, I like amen. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do it again. The person coordinating d- today is the London Ghana youth leader, Kobna Sapong. Amen. Indeed. You know, Kobna Sapong, and then. Uh, did you made the so as soon as I a uh, youth leader, oh, I sorry, had him. Uh-huh. Uh, the pastoral prayer will be done by Abigail Mensah. I feel you empire couldn't even know about Abigail Mensah, and then over by my end. The type and offering will be done by Martina Che. Now, feel to so do and then myself for you know, Martina Che. The and scripture so reading will be done ma. by Beatrice Marco. Now, feel you know about Beatrice Marco. I trust him, I can kind on the baking kind of my end. The preacher today will be introduced at a later time. And did you say me say your bekasa no ebrace me be you know at chair? And our fantastic interpreter for today. And then that you be here kasa no ano amaya no. Come on. Is our own brother Ransford or Henneba Sapong? Ransford or Henneba Sapong then that or your interpreter na my amen. So now I would like to call the praise team so we can start our praise and worship. Amen. I hope you enjoy the service. Good morning, church. I kindly ask you to rise with me as we turn our hymn books to hymn 373, Seeking the Lost. Hymn 373. the lost seeking the lost yes kindly entreating wanderers on the mountain of strength says come unto me come unto me message repeating words of the master speaking I want to hear all the men say going afar Going afar upon the mountain, bringing the one, bringing the one, bringing the one, the rose back again, dress back again, into the fold, into the fold, into the fold of my redeemer, Jesus the Lord. The second song, I just want to hear the ladies say, Seeking the lost, seeking the lost, and pointing to Jesus, pointing to Jesus, so sad are we, and hearts that are sore, hearts that are sore, leading them forth in ways of salvation, leading them forth in ways of salvation, showing the path to life evermore. Let's go. Jesus the Lamb. 
We're going to do the chorus again. Say, go in the fire. sing is him 422 marching to Zion. Yeah, we're marching up west to Zion. Yeah, the beautiful city of God. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Yeah, we're marching up west to Zion. Yeah, the beautiful city of God. 
beautiful city of God, the beautiful city of God, the beautiful city of God, the beautiful city of God. Daniel, for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all here safely, Lord. Thank you for looking after us throughout the week, keeping us away from all trials and tribulation, Lord. You brought us here safely to listen to the preacher's word. Speak through him that your children may be able to get a lesson or even know what to say to their fellow person when they're going through troubles, Lord. You know that people here have problems from childbearing, Lord, from work, from immigration, Lord, even sickness, Lord. I pray that by the end of today, you would have healed anyone here. Anyone that has a prayer on their heart, Lord, I pray that you answer. Even if you're unable to answer by today, Lord, I pray that by next week, they will come and testify that, Lord, you have done it in their life. I pray that whatever we learn today from the sermon, Lord, we can use in our lives. People will be able to also see it from our lives and will be a demonstration of your work, Lord. I know you'll be able to do all these things, hence I'm asking in your name. Amen. Amen.
Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. It, <laughs> it's time for a typhon offering. Brass say, you can't just so do any maswa for rain on sem. Can we please open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 4, verse 2 to 7? Now, if you mean me, you trust him, no call Genesis, and I must say, we did kind of 3 and 9, teach you me, no, a copy me, I know nothing, you know, you're going to go on I read. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now, I will be on, now, if you are winning here, your friend Abel. Now, Abel was a keeper of sheep. Now, Abel, there, no, she's not so. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry. And his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. And its desire is for you. But you should not rule over it. Amen. 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 As a church, I think that when we look at Typhon offering, we always see it as from the perspective that we are stealing from God. But from a different angle, I see it as we are refusing for God to bless us through our type and offering. When God asks us for our 10%, it's not because he needs it or desires it. So in your point, say you find it so do a man, you see be our hint now say and famra. He wants to see where our heart truly is and how grateful we are to him. No question pan and so so be a yakuma, I want you near a sort the oye and my no. We deprive ourselves from the opportunity for God to bless us when we don't give our tithe and offering. And you say I'm fine, so do my swap for an arm man question and say, yeah, yeah, cause I need see a whole quiet say your coupon a bitch trying. The final message that I have today is that we need to allow God to bless us. By putting our money where our heart and faith is. Amen. Can we please bow our heads for a word of prayer? Dear Lord, we thank you for looking after us today. We thank you for protecting us the whole week. I hope that you shower us with all your blessings, even if we aren't able to bring anything today. I hope that you open our hearts and our ears so that we are able to listen to the word of God. I also hope that you preach, you speak through the preacher and bless all the type and offering brought together today. Amen. Amen. For you've been great. 
reading will be taken from Genesis 32 verses 24 to 26. And I read, Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he could not defeat him, he struck Jacob's hip socket as they wrestled and dislocated his hip. Then, Jacob, then, then he said to Jacob, let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Amen. 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 Amen.
song is really simple. We're going to teach it to you today. It says, rise up, go. Rise up. Rise up, all who believe, let us rise up. Now is our season to reach out.
Amen. Amen. If you're happy to be in God's house, say amen. Amen. If you know that God has been good to you, say hallelujah. And if you're even more excited to see our young people leading out, say praise the Lord. Indeed, it has been a pleasure all this week. We've been able to experience the power of the Lord. On Wednesday, we had a powerful fasting and prayer. We had five prayer sessions. You know, sometimes as Christians, we're told that we're not, we don't pray enough. You know? you know, the Muslims, they pray five times times a day. But I know on Wednesday we went over five times. But we like to thank God for what he has done through our young people. Once again, we just want to welcome you here to London, Ghana, Seventh-day Adventist Church. And as it has been said, this is this marks the beginning of the London London Ghana Youth Week of Prayer. But not only does it mark the beginning of the Youth Week of Prayer, it also marks the relaunch of the Youth Church as well. We are living in interesting times right now. And this is the time we need to make sure that we have powerful young people so, so, uh, leading uh, at the front. Amen. Amen. And so we want to give God praise for that. Today, the honor is mine to introduce the speaker for today. It is someone who is no stranger to us. You know, he is no stranger and we, I believe that God has used him in a, such a mighty way that when he got invited here the first time, God also used him another time at the Egercom camp meeting in 2019. And for those who remember, that was the last physical camp meeting we have before coronavirus hit. And listen, what, what this gentleman did, or what God did through this gentleman was so amazing. I believe it marks the 25th anniversary of Egercom camp meeting. Am I right? Would you believe at that camp meeting 25 people got baptized. I'm sorry, 25 people decided to give their lives to Jesus. And so I want you to understand that the person that is coming to speak and lead our youth week of prayer is someone who is very in tune with God. He is married to Mrs. Ladena Smith. In which they have had they have three children. One daughter, Amaya. Amaya. And very recently, two Mate. twin boys, Paxton and Harper. Paxton and Harper. He is a graduate of Oakwood University. That's where he did his now, He's also got a master's in organizational leadership from now, Grace Christian University. And even after everything that he's accomplished, he still wants to go and study. Now, why are you in the hope? No, and so because so currently he's completing another um, master's degree in higher education. Currently, he pastors the Mount Tahoma Seventh-day Adventist Church 
in um, Washington State. Now, okay, Washington, Mount Oma, me now come here for a software or no or more or honor your software. Oh, and so once again, I'd like to introduce to you our speaker today. And in tea, yes, I ye, your customer for no actually, and I want to hear a big amen. Pastor, Pastor Paul Smith. Software Paul Smith. Pastor, you are welcome here once again. And before Pastor Paul comes to preach, we will be blessed by our singing evangelist. He will lead us to the throne. Before Pastor Paul speaks. Amen. 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 Good morning, everybody. We could do better than that. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that young man sang that thing, didn't he? Well, I'm glad to be back here in the house of the Lord. 
Are we glad to be in the God's house this morning? Can somebody say amen? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Oh, we are glad that we are in the house of the Lord. Let me tell you a little bit of something about me. All right, cool. I don't want to make sure we good. All right. So where I'm from, in my church, Oh, my, my sorry no more. Because it's going to be my church for this next week. If you say, if you know what you call it, how soon I am, I'm sorry. I need y'all to smile and be happy with me. And it's baby, I will be a messer straight. No more need and give me home. Can y'all lift a hand or something? What's my him was that? All right. Yeah. So it's good to know that we are back here again. Yeah, I see. See, I'm going to be a messer. I'm going to help you. But this week, our prayer is that we see somebody's life change. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get to our Bible. We're going to go to the book of Genesis. We're going to go to Genesis 32. I'm going to read from verse 1 in your hearing. All right, so the Bible says, Jacob also went on his way. And the angels of God met him. When Jacob saw them, he said, this is the camp of God. So he named that place Mahaniam. Jacob sent messengers ahead of him to his brother Esau in the okay. land of Seir, the country of Edom, and he instructed them, saying, this is what you are to say to my Lord Esau. Your servant Jacob says, I've been staying with Laban and have remained there to now. We are going to tag our time in the text. And then you better say, Adagia. The fight of your life. Let's bow our heads. Spirit of living God, fall afresh on us. Father, as we open up your word, we're praying today that somebody's life will be changed. Amen. Father, as I'm here this morning, hide me behind the cross. Lord, I pray today that your name will be glorified that your people will be edified and the devil will be horrified. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. And amen. So you heard this morning that I have twin boys. I have two twin boys, one by the name of Paxton, one by Harper. Now they are very interesting because they are two distinct individuals that look like each other. They share the common features but carry different personalities. Now, if we are parents in this room, we know if you give one toy to one, you have to get a toy to the other. And with these twin boys, if you don't give them the toy, at the same time, there's going to be a fight in the room. Y'all know about that? Now, when they were born, Paxton was born last. Paxton, yeah, And when Harper came out, Paxton came out almost immediately after. Now, when I look at this story, we are introduced to Jacob and Esau. If we look at the name of Jacob, his name denotes notes the fact that he's a heel grabber. If you look at Jacob's life, everything that he's done, he's always trying to take after someone else. If you look at this story, you're introduced to Jacob and Esau when Esau's in the field and he's famished. He's so hungry, he sold his birthright for a pot of stew. Hmm. 
When you begin to look at this story, it gets even better. Because the Bible lets us know that when their father was coming of age, the father wanted to extend his birthright. And he was looking for Esau. But their mother tricked them and helped Jacob steal what didn't belong to him. Hmm. You see, one thing about Jacob is that Jacob starts fighting from the beginning of his life for the wrong thing. Some of us who are in this place can resonate with the fact that we are fighting for some of the wrong things. And when you take things that don't belong to you, you're going to end up in places that aren't designed for you. Hmm. True. Come on, y'all. Talk back to me now. True, right? When you begin to look at this story, <laughs> Jacob all is known for stealing what ain't his. Every opportunity in his life, he's found some way to take what's not his. You see, if you begin to fight for your life, you'll begin to realize that the fight has to start in you. All right, let me speak to the Adventists in the room. Are there any Adventists in the room? Are y'all here with me this morning? All right, so now we understand that there's this thing called the great controversy. Now in the great controversy, there's a battle between good and evil, right? Within ourselves, we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We are not born being perfect. And in our lives, we desire to do some bad thing. And if we don't correct these desires, you're going to end up in places that God hasn't placed into your life. So the fight begins in you. There's a battle going on in our lives between good and evil. And if we allow evil to continue to win, the fight's going to take us out. So the Bible lets us know that here it is that Jacob and Esau get to this point in their lives that they have to separate places. Esau wants to kill Jacob and Jacob picks up after his mother's advice and says, go down to my brother Laban. And as he gets down to Laban, Jacob sees something that the Lord spent an extra time creating for mankind. He spent just a moment and was lost in her beauty. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Is there any husbands in this room that remember the day when they looked at their wife for the first time and said to God be the glory. Great things he has done, amen. I remember when I looked at my wife the first time and I asked her, well, I think that you are the one for me. I said, God told me. And she looked at me. And said, well, God did not tell me. That you are for me. Well, I'm here today to tell you. That God is able. 
to do exceedingly abundantly and above all we can ever ask and or think of because of the last 10 years the woman that said no is still saying yes. So if there's anybody in this place that wants to give God some praise, you can let the world know that God is still in control. We know and understand that after this story, Esau is waiting for his brother, Jacob, has to leave Laban's home and head back towards his brother. Now you got to look at this picture. Because Jacob is sitting there and he has the enemy behind him and he has the enemy in front of him and he's looking at his life and he can see death before and death behind. Now if there's anybody in this place that knows that they've been between a rock and a hard place you know what this feels like. For our young people that are sitting in this room there were some of them that are going through hard places right now and the devil is trying to take their lives he's trying to remind them of what's behind them and scare them for what's in front of them but let me tell you this for every mistake misdeed misstep God has a miracle right around the corner to set you free. Here it is. You see, Jacob in his entire life has always plotted and schemed to take what's not his. Think about that. There's never been a moment that he's actually truly earned what he has. You see, when you begin to fight, this fight, the fight begins in you. But I've also come to realize that sometimes when you fight, God's fight is there to set you free. All right, so let me tell y'all. So, <laughs> Jacob comes up with another plan. He stole a birthright with one plan. He tricked his brother again with another plan. He tricked Laban with another plan. And now he has another plan. His idea is that I can separate my camp. And if so, Esau comes to destroy me, he'll get the first half of my camp. And I'll guarantee the last half of my people will survive. But how many people know that every time you try to make a plan instead of listening to God's will your plan plan to fail. Y'all know what I'm talking about? 
Whenever we try to play God in our lives, it never works out. Forty days turn into how many years? Because the children of Israel tried to play God in their own lives. I guarantee it. That every time you put yourself before God, there's going to be a fight in your life. You look at this story, and the Bible lets us know that he's by a brookside. And as he's there, this is the first time in his life that he's truly alone waiting on something to happen. The Bible lets us know that he begins a fight for his life. Now, he has to fight the person inside of him to deal with the person that's in front of him. Now I've come to realize that a lot of us are fighting this fight right now. For our young people who may not know and understand that they have a fight on Monday, they have a fight on Tuesday, they have a fight on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and when they come to church, some of them have to put on a different person and fight again. We have to, oh, let me come closer. You don't have to translate that part. Let me come closer. You won't work with me? Yeah. So, we have to make sure <laughs> that we make churches <laughs> the safest place <laughs> in the world. We have to make sure <laughs> that we do all that we can <laughs> to teach our children <laughs> what the world is trying to teach <laughs> them. We have to make sure <laughs> that when they come in this place <laughs> that they feel wanted, <laughs> that they feel loved, <laughs> that they feel appreciated, <laughs> Because if they don't feel it in here, if he says, they're going to look for it out and there. And how many people know that if you look for it out there, you're going to find some things that are going to take you apart. You have an opportunity in this place to change lives. We have an opportunity in this place to be intentional in creating safe spaces for our young people. We want to make sure in all that we're doing that we are helping them fight for their lives. One of the worst fights a young person can ever have is when they have to fight and they have no one in their corner. When you have to fight and there's no one in your corner, you're all alone. And then when you're sitting in between two cultures and you have to be one person at home one person at school and one person at church it's a fight of your mind and one of the worst fights you can fight is in your mind there's a young person in this place that is struggling 
struggling with who they are and where they are going and they need somebody to let them know that God loves them. Here it is. Um, Young people today may not like what you like. Yeah? But remember, here it is. When you were in their place, you did not like what the older generation may have liked. True or false? I've come to realize that some of us, when we come into church, we get spiritual amnesia. Am I talking to somebody? And sometimes, we forget how far God has brought us. So some of us had some afros and some bell-bottom jeans and may not be a pencil skirt but there's still value in them. Alright. I have a daughter who is one of the most interesting people I've ever met. Pastor Kwame knows her very well. My daughter feels no shame ever. None. And our, we operate on a culture of shame. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now as a parent, I tell my daughter, don't shame me when we go outside, took my daughter, she is in swimming class. And I can, I can admit that my daughter is a terrible swimmer. <laughs> she ain't she, 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 she floating right. And the purpose of the class is for her to to be able to be strong enough to be able to swim in the deep end all by herself. So every Tuesday, we head to the pool. We get her in the pool and she's supposed to take a swimming test. At the end of the test, the test is designed to reveal what she's learned so she can get to the other side. Now here it is. Our young people are going through some tests and some fights right now. And guarantee that they may fail a little bit. They may stumble a little bit. But I wish somebody in this place can look at a young person and let them know that there is still value, worth, love, and God in them. We say that our young people are the next generation. But that's a wrong thing to say. Because they are the church right now. Oh, everybody's quiet now. Can I tell y'all something? I'm under the age of 40. I'm young. And I have a very large church. All by myself. When I first got there, this lady reminded me that I could be her son. 
and in board meeting. See, some of y'all board meetings be treating pastors bad, but <laughs> let me keep going. And uh, she looked at me <laughs> and said, young man, <laughs> I don't have to listen to you <laughs> because you could be my grandchild. <laughs> Here it is. They may not do church the way you like it. But if you trust in the parenting that you have done, I guarantee that if they put their heart and their hands to work, you will see lives change. Jacob begins to fight and wrestle with this angel. Now, you guys have to understand that if anyone has ever fought before, if you fight for at least six minutes, you're going to be tired. True or false? So if you fight hard, or anybody's been to the gym before, and you run full pace for 10 minutes, you need at least 20 to get back to right. But here it is. The Bible lets us know that they fought all night. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Y'all missed this. They fought from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. to midnight. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. They fought the entire night. They fought the entire night. And the Bible says that the angel realized he could not defeat him. Hold on. Y'all missed that. This is an angel that can wipe out anything. But Jacob realized I can't live like this anymore. And I'm going to fight until he blesses me. I've come to realize that sometimes God has to wrestle you to save you. Sometimes God's going to have to delay you. Sometimes God's going to have to deny you to deliver you. And I wish there was somebody in this place that was willing to fight all night for their blessing. You have to fight for your freedom. Wrestle to be saved. You have to be beaten and battered and bruised. Sometimes to be released from some of the things that you're dealing with. <laughs> Getting over an issue is never an easy thing. You have to fight for your freedom. I wish somebody was in this place that could testify that they've had to wrestle with God in some long nights. You got to fight with God until he blesses you. All right, let me show y'all something. All right, don't move. I ain't going to throw you around, but just work with me. The angel was an angel. Powerful 
strong, a part of the creative process was within the heavenly host and could not put Jacob down because Jacob realized if I let go I'm not just letting go of him but he's really letting go of me Letting go <laughs> mm, may seem easy sometimes. <laughs> but if you hold on to him, God's going to put you in places <laughs> that you've never expected to be. Here it is. The angel realized that this young man was going to fight him to the morning. He was going to wrestle to be saved. He was willing to be beaten to be delivered. He realized that he was going to be destroyed to be set free. And sometimes you have to be willing to get on your knees and beg and plead and wrestle with God until he sets you free. Is there anybody in this place that know that God is still able to set you free? There's some wrestlers in this room that have wrestled with God and God has delivered them. The angel dislocates his hip, leaving him with a reminder of what he's been through. Sometimes, God's going to have to break you for you to believe. Yeah? yeah? That makes sense. Jacob meets his brother. And he was expecting a fight of his life. But he didn't realize the fight was not with his brother. But the fight to be free was with himself. Let's keep it from going. Uh, our young people are fighting every day. They're not just physically fighting. But they're fighting for their minds. How many people know that suicide and depression has skyrocketed? In our children, in our church, Especially within black people, within our particular diasporas and cultures, where we don't tend to talk about it enough. The fight is real. The struggle is real. But today, I want to let some young person know that whatever you're dealing with, God has already seen it. 
God has already delivered you through it. And if you're willing to trust God, when you can't trust God, God can take a hold of that thing and turn it around. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're fighting, whatever addiction, whatever pain, whatever problem, whatever issue at home, God can take it and turn it around. I'm not just here for the youth this week. But there's a husband in this room. That when they look at themselves in the mirror, they feel as if they're failing at leading their home. There's a mother in this room who feels as if her children are going. Her husband may have already left. The house is upside down. And she's failing at who she is. There's somebody in this room that if we know about the fight that they had to get to this place this morning we would have left them outside but I'm here today to let you know and understand that God is still able When I look at these young people, there's value in you. This is not the church on this side. This is it. All that you've worked for in the 45 years of this legacy is to make sure that they go on preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Every meeting every board meeting every opportunity to be intentional about creating ways to get them from out there in here that may not what that may not be what some of us want to hear I'm not excusing our older generations. But this is the time that we need to come together more than ever before. Knife crime is on the rise. Suicide is on the rise. Crime levels are on the rise. And our little black boys are being in, put in prison for longer and longer. The church needs to stand up and cry aloud for the rest of our lives to make sure that our children know that God is real. When they come in here, it's funny that some of us, when we come to church, we don't smile. We don't come into the courts with praise and thanksgiving. Some of us looking mad. As if somebody stole my food. But how are you going to show some young person that God is still in control when you always upset. 
I've lived my life in saying to myself, it ain't that bad. It There is somebody in this place. I'm going to start appealing. That needs to come forward today. And boldly declare. That they are wanting. To fight for their life. If you are in this place. And you know. That you need to fight for your life. Come down right now. You're in this place. And just because you come every week. Does not mean. That you're going to be saved. You know what you're fighting. You know what you're going through. And you know today. That you can't afford to leave this place the same way you came in. The opportunity is yours. There's somebody does not have to be a young person that is in this place today. That knows and understands that they need God in their life right now to deal with this issue or this thing's going to take them out. I'm going to invite you to the front right now. If you're in this place and you know you need special prayer, you know that your children need prayer, that's it. That's one. Come on. Send free. Come on. Come on, Fiona. There's more. You're in this place right oh, now. Be able to see. And just because you've been Adventist all of your life does not mean that you're going to be right. Come right up. When fears are still, when striving sees my comforter. My all in all, here in the love of Christ. Let's do it again one more time. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears If you're in this place and you want to come, come. So will be enough to solve our business, yeah, but. Just because you see a lot of people, don't let them come. Stop you from what God's destiny is. Here in the love of Christ, my all in all. Hear in the love of Christ, my all in all. Hear in the love of Christ, my hope is gone. Can we? This is it. Come on, come on, come on. As we're in this place today. See, I was happy here in the. You cannot leave this place the same way you came in. One more. Who's been standing in the same place? 
for 30 and 40 years and if people were able to see who they really were come and see a man come and see a man named Jesus that can heal the blind and set the lame free come and see a man that can take what you're struggling with and use that as a springboard to set you up I'm going to tell you what I want you to do for commands my destiny no power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns and takes me person in this place that I've been praying for as I walked into this room today. And I see that God has pricked them in fighting through the crowd to come to the front. Don't lose your place because of the crowd. Heads about and eyes are closed. Spirit of living God, Fall afresh. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Lord, there are people that are in this place that are battered and bruised. There are people in this place that are dealing with issues that they feel they cannot talk about. Well, Lord, I pray today that whatever it is that they leave it here today, I pray today that they trust in you, that they believe in you, that they give all that they're dealing with to you. Father, you've come to this place to save us. You died on Calvary's cross to set us free. And Father, we know and can testify that the blood still works. So Father, cover our hearts and our minds. Heal the broken. Set the captives free. Break the chains. Tear down strongholds. Rip off the yokes of burden and shame and defeat. Lord, I pray today that somebody in this place feels the worth. Sees that they are a prize in the eyes of God. I'm praying today that somebody can boldly scream when they get into their car to God be the glory. Amen. Lord, throughout this week, our prayer is that someone will be able to see your love turn into action. What better way to start with the fight of their life? Lord, I pray that they change the way they see you so they'll change the way they live with you. Yes, Lord. Lord, wrestle us to release us. Deny us to deliver us. Lord, I pray today that if you have to punish us so we can get some praise in us, let it be. But Father, I pray that when we come out on the other side, We'll be able to sing to God be the glory. Great things he has done. So Lord, I'm praying today that you set your children free. Set them free. And when they head back to their seats, they can feel and know that you're still in the way-making business. 
In your name we pray, amen. 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 And amen. amen. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns and takes me So I told y'all this won't be my church for the next week. I'm getting kind of comfortable up here now. If I learn to speak tweet, I'll be right. I think I can do it. But we want to remind you to come back here tonight at 4 p.m., right? Was the word all right for you this morning? That was kind of weak. I ain't going to lie. Was the word all right for you this morning? We're going to invite you to come back. We want this place to be filled just as it is right now. We want to remind our online audience to come back and worship with us. We want to remind our online audience to be here back at 4 p.m. We want to remind the church and our online presence that next week's Sabbath we are having a baptism and we want to make sure that the pool runs dry with the decisions made to see his face. So if you're seeking baptism, where are some of our elders? Elders, can y'all just wave your hands? Some of our elders that are in this place, other quakes where you at? Can y'all just come here, come here, come here, come on, come on. Quake, you moving too slow. This morning, this young man so was teaching a baptismal class. Hold on. Church, y'all missed that. Should so we'll be celebrating that thing. Because this young man was teaching a baptismal class. This young, black, debonair man, yes, sir. sweet and charming, could be anywhere else in his life. But because of what you've done as a church, Help to see this young man teaching a baptismal class. Amen. Amen. His hope, his desire, alongside all the elders and the pastors of this church, is for someone in this place to go down in the watery grave. If you know a young person, that should be here this week, invite them out. If you know someone that should be in this place, invite them out. Because the fight begins today. The fight begins today. And as a church, we go fight to see people say, Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Uh, church, can we all stand as we sing our closing hymn, hymn 633, When We All Get to Heaven.
is over. But when not a shadow, not a sign. Not a shadow, not a sign. Says when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll go straight to the last stanza. Onward to the prize before us. We shall tread the streets of gold. We shall tread the streets of gold. Says when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Heads are bowed and eyes are closed. Father, we thank you for what happened in this place today. And Lord, as we get ready to depart from this place, let not your spirit depart from us. So bless every eye that has seen, and the ear that has heard, and heart that has felt your presence in this place now and forevermore. Amen and amen. <laughs>